my dear students today we are going to learn about malaria malaria is a common human disease that is caused by one protozoan parasite by name plasmodium and this plasmodium was discovered by one scientist by name charles lavera hence he is called the father of malariaology previously that means before charles lavera discovered plasmodium people thought that this malaria spreads by inhaling bad air hence it was named as malaria this term malaria is a misnomer and charles laveron discovered plasmodium later the oocyst of plasmodium was discovered in the stomach wall of female anapheles mosquito this plasmodium which is a causative agent of malaria is a digenetic parasite Digenetic parasite means it completes its life cycle in two hosts, namely primary host and the secondary host. Primary host is the host in which the sexual life cycle of the organism occurs. And here, in case of Plasmodium, primary host is female Anapheles, whereas the secondary host is human being. Secondary host is the host in which the asexual reproduction of the parasite occurs. So, like that, Plasmodium is the digenetic parasite which completes its life cycle in mosquito and human being. Female Anapheles mosquito is a primary host, whereas human being is a secondary host. And coming to the infective stages of Plasmodium, they are called sporozoites. Sporozoites are the infective stages of Plasmodium to human being. You know very well that female Anapheles mosquito enjoys the blood meal, it sucks the human blood. Whenever it is sucking the blood, it introduces saliva, it uh, injects a saliva into the human body. The purpose of this is the Anaphalus mosquito saliva contains one anticoagulant by name hemolysin and this prevents the clotting of blood while the mosquito is uh, sucking the blood. So as a result, what will happen when the mosquito is uh, introducing this saliva? Along with the hemolysin, even the sporozoids will also enter into the human blood. Now, the sporozoids, which are uh, sickle shaped, they reach hepatocytes. That means these sporozoids will come to the liver. There, they are transformed into some sort of uh, schizont, which is ready for some sort of reproduction, some sort of multiple fission. So, like that, in liver, what will happen? the asexual reproduction takes place and during this period during this uh, cycle this uh, hepato cycle or hepatic cycle hepato means liver uh, hepatic cycle is the cycle uh, which is taking place inside the liver during this cycle it feeds on liver cells whatever may be after the completion of uh, its life cycle in liver cells they enter into erythrocyte here you can see this is the human erythrocyte and the, the malarial uh, parasitic stages after the completion of uh, liver cycle, hepatic cycle, they have entered into the RBC. In RBC, there are different stages like uh, amoeboic uh, stage, that means amoeboid stage means it contains some sort of uh, pseudopodia and uh, they show certain characteristic uh, structures uh, called uh, Schaffner dots and uh, signet ring stage will also be there, whatever, whatever may be. Here also, in human or BC also, asexual reproduction takes place. That means in liver, there is one asexual reproduction cycle. That means there is one schizogony. Schizogony is nothing but the multiple fission. And here, the same schizogony is taking place inside the RBC, but it is given some other name that is called mirogony. This is also schizogony because it is taking place in the RBC, it is called mirogony. So here, of course, uh, in the RBCs, even gametes are formed. That means male gamete and female gametes are formed and further development that is the union of gametes and uh, other phases will take place in another host that means in the primary host namely mosquito. Here you can see. So let me repeat. First mosquito has uh, taken a blood meal. When it is taking the blood meal it has introduced uh, saliva because saliva contains an anticoagulant, namely hemolysin. Along with that, the sporozoites are introduced. Sporozoites reach liver and they perform some sort of schizogony. That means uh, multiple fission, releasing certain phases. 
and these phases that are released from the liver they enter into the rbc and in rbc there are various stages like amoeboid stage signet ring stage like that and shapner dots are the characteristic uh, structures that are found in the plasmodium of course and uh, later they release gametes micro gametes and uh, uh, macro gamete and uh, these gametes wait for the entry into the mosquito and when female anaphylaxis mosquito sucks the blood of this infective or infected person these gametic sites gametic stages will enter into the mosquito now here you can see the micro gamete that is the male gamete and this is macro gamete that is the female gamete they come together and they unite with each other forming a zygote this zygote undergoes some changes and it becomes oocanite and oocanite reaches the gut wall that is the stomach wall of the mosquito and it forms oocyst and uh, these oocysts were discovered by ronald ross when he was working in the cantonment hospital in sikandrabad which is now in telangana for this discovery ronald ross was awarded nobel prize so from oocyst stage sporocyst is formed and in this sporocyst sporozoites are formed and once it is broken uh, the sporozoites are released and they reach the saliva and again they wait for some sort of fresh infection so i already told that this is how uh, again the sporozoites will reach the human again another human again through the process of inoculation this is about the life cycle now let us come to the symptoms symptoms of malaria so here you can see symptoms chill stage will be there chill stage will be there that means a uh, cold stage and uh, high fever followed by followed by sweating there are three these are three different stages in the malaria infection malaria fever one is chill stage why this chill stage is caused means i told one life cycle of malarial parasite in rbc it feeds on rbc this malarial uh, parasitic stages will feed on rbc especially on the hemoglobin they feed on the globin part of the hemoglobin and convert the heme into one toxin substance namely hemojoin and whenever this hemojoin is released into the blood of infective person he experiences this chill so which is causing malaria no doubt plasmodium but the toxin namely hemojoin that is released from the different stages of this plasmodium during its life cycle causes malaria hence hemojoin is called malarial toxin so chill stage high fever and sweating are the three stages that are found in the malarial infection now let us come to the treatment and prevention yes prevention let us see the prevention first Vasim Siddiq designed vaccine against malaria, but it is uh, less effective. Uh, the reason is this Plasmodium has got wonderful survival value. It is a very smart parasite. It keeps on changing its outer coat, which contains the antigens. And mosquito repellents can be used to prevent. And uh, say good night to mosquitoes so that they will all be out. So they they will be all out. So that is how you can uh, use uh, this mosquito repellents. and gambusia is a larvicidal fish which feeds on mosquito larvae and spraying oils in the drainage will prevent the mosquito larvae uh, to respire as a result it is also an effective preventive measure and coming to treatment treatment is uh, nowadays well developed and there are certain tablets called lariago tablets there are certain tablets called lariago tablets that can be used to treat malaria laria means mosquito go means you know the meaning of go and the quinine it's a traditional medicine that is used to treat malaria quinine extracted from the bark of cinchona officinalis quinine extracted from the bark of cinchona officinalis is the traditional medicine used to treat malaria and there is one more drug artemisinin derived from sweet wormwood is also used in the treatment of malaria so this is about the malarial parasite and its life cycle and prevention and treatment thank you very much